Now inside of Top Solid 2017, it is significantly simpler to modify subcomponents. Here under the Advanced tab, you can see there's a new subcomponents command. Here we have a set of drawers. Drawers have handles on them, they have other hardware on them, and maybe what we'd like to do is we'd like to change them locally. So here, for example, I want handle type 2. I want the length of the handle to be a little a bit bigger, and so on. Cool. Now, when I click OK, I have modified the handle on just the one. That's one way of using this new global and local substitution command thing. Now, let's take a different look at it. We want to take this same thing, right? We're going to delete the substitution, and now we're going to select it, not locally, but globally, and change it to handle 2. And now every use of that handle is being replaced automatically by this new component based on these drivers. Cool. Maybe we want to exclude just one of them. Awesome. So by selecting that and activating exclusions, now that middle handle is being excluded by this replacement. Now, I'm using handles in my example. This could be screws. This could be any type of fastener. In fact, any type of standard component that either comes with Top Solid or standards that you develop yourself based on your design and engineering need. Here we're making yet another change. Boom. Everything has been changed. Perfect. Now, what else can we use this command for? Let's have a look. If we go to the Tools pull-down menu and go to Substitution Rules, in here we can define the different ways we may use the substitution command. So we'll call this Handle Type 2. And we're going to add it, and we're going to add it into our current project and put it in this folder here just so we have it stored nicely. Cool, why not? Okay, now we have it stored, and now we're going to set the filter. So basically what we want to do is we want to choose what's going to happen when we run this. Well, we want to change the family to handle type 2, handle type 1. Why not? So handle type 2, either specific drivers we want, specific code we want, whatever, and done. Now, from here, we validate and we have that new rule defined. And now we can go look, and we can look for our substitution rules, which are right here. Cool. Now, if we apply this rule, notice that every single handle within this assembly just changed. Awesome. So again, the idea of the rules are to capture different ways you may modify components. We'll make a handle type 1. Why not? Same thing. Let's go ahead and define where we want to put this. Good. Let's define our substitution. This time it'll be handle type 1. Get rid of that line. We didn't need it. We save it. And then we can go into our entities tree here, and we can set that to be current instead. So it's just shortcut ways of modifying a lot of things quickly. Cool. Why didn't those change? Let's apply that. Now, by making them current or non-current, this is also defining future use. If we have it current and we include more components in another subassembly, in, for example, it's going to come in with those holders already defined. Or handles, pardon me. So let's drag it in. Notice the handles come in based on handle type 1. Cool. If I had handle type 2 active, then handle type 2 would come in. So let's make that current. Drag and drop again. And because of that rule, 
Notice this has handle type 2 in there. And again, the whole idea here is to allow you to configure how you use your components, how quickly you modify your component tree, and really put you in the driver's seat 100%.